Hello, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for installing Graphene OS, which is an open source Android operating system with a focus on privacy and security. So I'm on their webpage here at grapheneos.org, and you can see they say Graphene OS is a private and secure mobile operating system with Android app compatibility. So effectively what Graphene OS does is they take the default Android open source operating system and they de-Google it, so they remove all of the proprietary Google services and give you a basic phone that works without any Google services. And then they also add a number of security measures, um, so like app sandboxing and other kind of security hardening. Um, so if you want a very secure phone, this is probably the best option there is out there. Um, so they talk about all this here. Um, and then no Google Apps and Services. So by default, they're, they remove all the Google Apps and Services, but you can reinstall some of them if you want. So for example, on one of my other Graphene OS phones, I installed the Google Play Store. If you don't have the Google Play Store, you can't use most Android apps. Um, so that would be a common thing that people would want to do. And if you do do that, they will add some extra sandboxing features for Google Play. Um, but if you want, you can go with a totally de-Googled phone. Um, so the default Graphene OS will let you do very basic things like files and camera and installing um, non-Google Android apps. So if you want to just use an open source app store like F-Droid or download your Android apps manually um, and install them, then you can definitely do that. So going to the frequently asked questions, you can look at what devices are supported. And so Graphene OS only supports newer Pixel phones. So if you have a different brand of phone or a phone that's not on this list, you can't use Graphene OS. Um, there are other open source um, Android operating systems for different phones and tablets, but Graphene OS, since it's focused on security, only supports a limited number of phones. Um, so you can buy some of these lower end ones used for like $250 or so. Um, so it's kind of a, an average Android phone and going to be much cheaper than an iPhone. So going to the installation, I'm going to do the web USB based installer. Um, you can also install it from the command line, but the web USB one is just a little bit easier um, because you don't have to install as much software. So I'm going to go here and there are some prerequisites. Um, I'm using Ubuntu 22 and Brave Browser. So the first step is to enable OEM unlocking. Um, this is essentially just telling your phone not to reject the new operating system you're installing. Um, so the first thing to do is take your phone, which I have here, and go to the settings and about section and then repeatedly tap the build number. And then you'll get a pop-up that says, you are now a developer. Um, so what this is doing is just dis enabling developer options. So they hide them by default. So people don't accidentally do things they don't want to here. But by just tapping this build number, you can enable it. And then the next step is to go to settings, system, developer options, and toggle the OEM unlocking setting. Um, so this is the setting that will allow you to um, install a custom operating system. So I'm doing that on my phone here. Okay. And then I've already installed this package, but this is just a default Debian package you need. Uh, you can do this one for Arch Linux. And I think this is not required if you're doing this from Windows. Um, so the next step, booting into the bootloader interface, um, hold down the volume down button while the phone boots. So I'm going to do this now. Okay, so I'm now in the bootloader interface and you'll see this bootloader interface on your phone. Um, so I already had the um, UDEV package installed above. Um, so I don't think I need to do any of this. 
Okay. So this is where the um, web install is really nice. It's able to do all of this just from their web app. So you don't need to install any custom software or use the command line. Okay, there we go. So the bootloader is unlocked. And on my phone, I have the option to um, use the volume keys to select up and down and then select unlock the bootloader. Um, okay, so now I'm going to do the download. And I'll come back when this is done. Okay, so as you can see, the download's now finished, and I'm going to move on to the next step, flashing the factory image. Um, so I can just push this button. Okay, so flashing the new operating system is finished, and now I'm going to lock the bootloader, like it's telling me to here. And it should now be locked, and I have to confirm on my device. Okay, and now you can do these post installation instructions on your phone. So I'm just going to start up my new operating system and it will boot to Graphene OS. And then you can disable these options and that you enabled earlier and verify that you installed the correct operating system. And they also, since this is very security focused, they have some ways where you can use a separate um, Graphene OS phone to audit another phone to make sure that you don't have malicious software accidentally installed or maliciously installed. And then they have more information you can look at here. Thanks for watching.